What's up guys, it's Zack Attack here. In this video, I will be teaching you how to build an easy 1.16 item sorter. This sorter works on all versions of Minecraft Bedrock, and is extremely useful and easy to build. Let's get right into the tutorial. Guys, what we're going to be needing is a bunch of solid blocks. It does not matter what solid blocks you want, as long as they're not transparent. Hoppers, a lot of hoppers, depending on how much storage you want. One dropper. And that is not for a module, this is just a master dropper that all your items will be going through. Some chests, depending on how much storage you want. Some redstone dust, three pieces per module, one torch per module, one repeater per module, and one comparator per module. Also guys, you'll we'll be needing some water buckets and some packed ice for this build. Go to a frozen ocean and use a silk touch pickaxe to collect some packed ice. Now guys, we're going to build up the system that will be taking our items up to our sword. So, place a double chest here. And now guys, you're going to place a hopper under it. Make sure that the hopper is funneling into this block right here. Right here. So, push down, place that. Place another one. Now guys, you're going to place a dropper facing this way. Now, digging out a couple blocks, and we're going to be repeatedly powering this dropper so that items get spit out of here once you place them into here. So guys, over here, I got a couple more blocks. Now place a repeater facing this way, repeater facing this way, two redstone dust here, two redstone dust here. Power it with a redstone torch, break the redstone torch, and break and replace this as fast as you can. Now guys, this should create a redstone clock. What you can do now is you can connect this to here, and that should be making a redstone clock, and you should hear the clicking sound. So guys, if you want, you can break this to make a single chest to make it look better, but you could also keep it as a double chest. I am going to fill the rest of this with these blocks with, with grass so that it looks better, but you guys do not have to. Alright, so now guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take some solid blocks, it could be any solid blocks that you want, in this case I'll be using some stone bricks, and I'm going to place however tall you want your sword to be, for me in particular, I'm going to have it probably six blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and just place that on all sides of the dropper. Now guys, once you have done that, come up here, place a block here, a block on top, a block here, a block on top, a block here, and a block on top. Now guys, extend this just to this side this will be temporary and we'll add in the water later now guys if you want to add in the water down here now what you're going to do is you're going to break this block or you can keep that block there for now and play and then fill the top up with water once you have done that you're going to come down and you're going to be placing pieces of kelp all the way to the top. This is so that all of the water turns into infinite water sources and it makes it a whole lot easier to get infinite water sources on your farm. Now guys, place this all the way to the top. This will make all of these blocks infinite water sources. So now you can come to the bottom. Now guys, replace the bottom block with some salt sand. This will create a bubble elevator and it will bring your items to the top. Now guys, if you want, you can cover this up to make it look nicer. Now guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the sorter. In order to start on the sorter, we're going to build a little platform down here so that we can have item frames showing what's getting sorted into what. Now guys, build up another tower here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to count seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh block, place a block. And build up another tower to the six block height. Now guys, what you can you can do is you can build up some towers here. You can just pray this up as much as you want. here so now guys what you're going to do 
is you're going to place some blocks here. There should be one block under this. And place some hoppers. Make sure they're funneling into these blocks. Now guys, you can break these blocks. And replace any blocks you might have broke doing that. Now guys, we're going to start making your chests. So, to do this, you're going to place chest one block down from there and place all the way across. Do this for all of the rows of chests that you have. You can also extend this design downwards by just adding more chests. Okay, so now place hoppers funneling into each of these chests. All of the items will get funneled down because if you did not already know this, hoppers look to go down before they go into the direction they're actually facing in. So if this hopper is not full, it will go down into this one. And if this if, if this chest is not full, then it will stay in and then it will go into the chest. If it is full, it'll stay in the hopper and then it'll keep funneling up. Now guys, you might want to come over here, and place some more chests down here, and place another row of blocks down here, and if you want, although you don't have to, I would suggest placing some more blocks here. Now guys, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take some glass, it could be any colored glass that you want, but just for this sake, I'm going to be using just normal glass place glass around here and now guys crouch down place solid blocks all across here and you're going to place hoppers I mean comparators you go into place comparators facing this way into each hopper I know this noise can get annoying guys so if you want to destroy the redstone clock for the time being you can just break this piece of redstone dust so guys, the next step is to come back here, place another row of solid blocks, another row of solid blocks, if you want to make this easier, you can place two temporary blocks here, place a block here, and break these two temporary blocks, and extend this to the uh, exact length of this, and place redstone repeaters going across here. Now crouch down and place your blocks back on top and you have to aim very precisely but you can place your first block there and then extend this now guys come to this side and place a row of blocks going on top of here so that the repeaters are feeding into it now guys place your redstone torches here and place all of your redstone dust here believe it or not your sorter is now done. All you have to do is add in the item filters and start chucking items in and there your items will get sorted into here. So guys, to do the item filters, you're going to place some glass here. And now and then we're going to do the water streams at the end. You can expand this storage uh, sorting system by having all two blocks here, a two block wall here. And in between, I'm going to call this one module, in between each module, you're going to have a slab, sorry, you're not going to have a slab, you're going to have a piece of packed ice, and you're going to have a pressure plate. And then, you can place down another water bucket. And then repeat the process. This will make more sense when I show you how to build the water sources for this first module. For now guys, guys though, you're going to be throwing in an item to each of these hopper that you know you're not going to sort. If you're sorting every item in the game though, you might want to rename these to any other anything other than this name, stone bricks. So for example, I would re rename dirt to an underscore because I know there's no item in the game named underscore. So guys place any item in here that you know you're not going to sort and you need to place f three in here 
well, four in each of these, and then whatever a stack of whatever item you need to sort. This should stop at 41 if you have done it right. So let's see if it stops at 41. And it did. So now, guys, you'll see if I chuck any amount of soul sand in, it will get sorted. But first we have to set up the water streams. So just do that for every single one of these. And if you're sorting something expensive like diamonds, another way to do it is to place 11 blocks in each of these. Each of these four slots. And then you can place one of the item. Do not do that for all of them, because if you do, then the sorter will break because there's too much power going into these repeaters. So guys, now to do the water streams, you're going to place a water bucket here, and you're going to take some packed ice. By the way guys, we're using packed ice so that the ice does not melt. And you're going to be taking a pressure plate, placing it here, and a water bucket, and placing it here. As you should see guys, the water should stop here. So guys, let's test out the system. Your sorter is officially done. As long as you have, first you have to set up all the item filters, and now you can replace the redstone clock, and now your sorter should be working. So guys, let's rebake this redstone clock. Now guys, we can cover this back up. And now, let's see if the soul sand gets sorted. As you guys can see, it's getting picked up by this hopper. You guys also might want to place some extra blocks here to make sure that the soul sand does not get popped out of the top. Thank you guys for watching this easy 1.16 item sorter. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share this with your friends and family. More videos will be coming in the near future. Bye!